Hello everyone, a question and answer video today, which sounds somehow flattering, but also challenging, uh, given, say, the, the context, and, and you will understand better of this from the quest. And this was under my recent, like yesterday's video about the medieval shield, which doesn't have to do with the topic, but with my, uh, my output. Uh, and I simply read the question as usual. Then we will see it step by step. As I say, you're producing a YouTube channel here with pathetically less than 9,000 subscribers. You have published 1,800 video lectures, generally ranging from 45 minutes to 2 hours, and you do it every day uh, on topics ranging from most ancient history to late medieval times and making excursions into Napoleonic warfare. How is it possible? I would love to hear from you how this fantastic feat can be accomplished. Are you an entire army of historians hiding behind a single voice? That would be useful, let me tell you. Doesn't um, at all seem like that given the, uh, the, the way you, you freely reason about each topic. Do you have photographic memory and look through several books and papers every day, immediately memorizing everything forever in the catch of an eye, click, click, click. Uh, then close your eyes for a few hours, putting it all together with your already astronomic memory magazine and apply pretty sharp analytics to it in order to then improvise these daily lectures about the, quote, very short introductions. You have created material here for 100 books, but you're satisfied with having 8.8 um, .8, uh, kilo subscribers and not even reg uh, registering on Google's radar as a relevant content provider in your genre. I'm extremely grateful for what you're doing here for free for those of us who have discovered you and just frustrated that I do not have even a fraction of the time available to even hear most of what you produce as you produce it. But I do not understand why you don't monetize this fantastic work that you, with your impressive talent, have created. You should be at the subscription top in the YouTube history genre at a million or so, having sponsors queuing to have their brands associated with you, perhaps you're economically independent and care not for such things, are you running a major side business on the history topic that I do not know of? So this this user is, by the way, uh, subscribed publicly to my channel from three months, uh, maybe, I don't know, he was following me from before that I can't track. Um, but uh, it's an interesting question, and I think it's important to talk about it now, because recently, through uh, certain dynamics, I managed to increase um, the uh, subscription rate, um, say, multiple times more than, than the average. So we are getting somewhere um, in the medium term, evidently. The channel has never been shrinking. Right, so I will deal with this um, probably at some point. I, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm not fully on track back from a couple of uh, years ago. And I'm planning to make a uh, mega update, just one video, uh, don't worry, uh, about, uh, say, Schwerpunkt's deal in history in part. Because uh, especially with the subscription rate, it means that um, I have so many users who know me just for a very short time and I just keep talking history and I don't talk about what this whole thing is about, why I do it, whatever. And every once in a while I get this kind of questions which um, I think are important to answer because they, they are the easier way to highlight um, the the general situation and what what can be done also to improve it telling the truth um, so I will address certain specific um, topics on hopefully the 10,000 subscription which is not incredibly far account before New Year to have gotten there or surpassed it if things go how they have to I mean even if I die probably <laughs> you know, people will keep subscribing anyway but um, uh, I mean for me to be alive there at that point and this question is is nice right and it obviously points out a contrast between 
the amount of stuff I do and the few amount of subscribers and uh, the general paucity of interaction, say also the, the, the slow growth rate in absolute terms, I can't say, of course, it's a lot for me whenever I see, I don't know, uh, 20 subscribers a day, 40 subscribers a day, but the thing obviously uh, is aimed at, you know, escalating at some point. Well, this largely depends uh, on the audience, and we will address this uh, now. So going in order, like you're producing a YouTube channel here with pathetically less than 9,000 subscribers. So yes, that this is the situation. Um, Schwerpunk was born five years ago. It's not from that time that I publish every day, but for years I've been doing it uh, right now. Just I took some vacation. I'm for personal reasons that are pretty strained at some point I I pointed out like I have an easy life actually um, so nothing severely wrong has been happening so far but there are certain things that of course when you have all this workload which as you know in the in, in, in those years uh, with all these videos once a day was also including a PhD uh, but also emotional strains like heartbreak uh, you know other issues losses, um, recently also some health problem, but overall I keep doing what I do, I, I keep also at this point uh, writing, uh, publishing most of this stuff, I've also had some side activities from Schwerpunkt that were paid, it were occasional, and there is no doubt that if this is not my major, let's say my, my greatest, uh, my main activity, Right. Uh, still, it it has been uh, gaining ground uh, for, if anything, for the potential it represents. As I was saying before, the, the channel is growing, right? And it is actually accelerating. I will at some point post some, some graph uh, to explain this, because objectively the curve has started, you know, uh, increasing, like, in a much steeper way. Uh, than it, it ever was. So this means that uh, there is uh, an increase and that it's not exponential yet, but it's definitely accelerating, right? This means doesn't mean that other strange things aren't going on. Actually, um, even within this growth, uh, for example, the YouTube, Schwerpunk YouTube searches have been going down. As much as the notification views, apparently uh, suggested videos make now not alone the most of it, but um, they're somehow destined to replace uh, the uh, the main amount of views that I got from historically from the YouTube searches. And this is very weird because it means basically, and I feel this uh, very much, I will surely talk about this more in depth with the analytics and so on, that... And, it, and this is what it feels from the outside and considering also what YouTube has become. And I'm not very uh, optimistic about it, right? I, I don't consider myself an optimistic or pessimistic person, but I I wonder just from a moral and, say, content and meaning point of view what, what future this platform has because probably, you know, there, there won't be anything replacing it any, at any time soon, but in general for people to keep doing things I do. And maybe this question does point that out. Um, of course, I believe uh, I can make it uh, true, but um, th this is a strange indicator, is to say my content is being buried under a pile of other, and that for some, which I believe, because people tend, tend to blame the algorithm, uh, as if the algorithm really, you know, sponsored um, some things to the point that if, if the content is not good or, you know, uh, it's just a, a weird mechanism that has nothing to do with the actual, you know, taste of, of the good old viewer. This is not actually the case, right? It is, while it is true uh, that YouTube basically mm, uh, promotes, or at least pays also for more, the um, those videos that have very specific historical topics, right? I can tell you that the migration era is, is paid much more uh, with ads, um, by ads than, uh, say, another average for medieval history one. Uh, that is bad, so there is no doubt that there is that thing, but the, the impression is that, again, there are fewer 
very big channels that swallow everything and even when you search for a very specific title for example containing my videos I checked that you will get tons of videos that have literally nothing to do with that to get to the perfect exclusive title match that, that is your video so actively there, there is a process which sounds quite desperate right uh, in also in, in an economical sense from YouTube to just attract people's attention on and it's mostly BS right we'll see it now because I truly believe that this content is way better than the average uh, there are other problems which is of course have to do with, with my delivery with my uh, general say archaism and in other aspects surely I can improve and that are on me but the most immediate understanding here is that um, this stuff doesn't circulate right even those who follow it basically uh, and I see it from 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 the stats do not share it much because there is simply I know it's hard to tell uh, but uh, I'm, I'm honest here because uh, because uh, you trust me and it must be like I see it the, the amount of times from the stats that my videos are shared daily it's very low right just a minimal part um, if relevant at all of this subscribers uh, shares right and I thank very much all those who do maybe it happens in part also people that are not subscribers that do not even uh, maybe uh, uh, say they're, they're not even my fans maybe <laughs> just saying bad things but that put it in circle in on other sides which is a few tens um, uh, a day so it means that there is if anything a very small amount of people that even bothers saying okay well look there is this guy out there um, and every time I, I get this kind of comments like oh my god I, I didn't know you existed your videos are fantastic whatever I see the numbers increasing but at the same time I realize that uh, and I don't say I'm not saying that I'm blaming this but let's say I understand it uh, I understand that because the entire YouTube entire society entire culture has become this there is no emotion there is no passion there is no drive right it's evident that the algorithm works not because you are given something um, and you have no choice with that but because simply go you go with it you don't search anymore you don't um, engage I, I, I say it for myself too uh, in other um, in other contexts we are all that lazy and somehow um, technologically addicted to the point that we follow some trace without even realizing that just know that in part you're being played with by the system this is true but that you can that if you want things to rise to the top you could do it overnight right uh, you could spam you know wherever and still and providing me every day with an enormous amount of, of subscriptions um, if you don't want to do it it's fine because uh, my work does not entail that right it's it just I, I I see from for example that this happens very rarely but somebody who says you know please share this thing um, uh, more to all you out there just some, somebody commenting saying no oh, why you know let's not don't do it so fast and that's pretty weird because you know if, if I have a chance to, to continue this if I, I want to be motivated etc which is mostly depending on me not on these things but let's say it doesn't sound like what what are what is the point are you jealous that you know other people can watch my content that you are the only one you don't want this thing to rise too fast well it, it's not uh, let me tell like because my my poor my purpose goes far beyond getting views and making this history videos right the idea is that if I got enough attention um, I would like to bring this to, to a further level and to treat also different topics that are much more um, can say um, can be much more appealing can have a, a but only at that scale of, of engagement uh, a purpose that can go beyond YouTube because that's the ultimate point you would say oh my god Schwarpen, do you want to take over the world or what if I told you yes right and that I'm not kidding and that um, there is a point that I make in every history video that I do not see often in fact uh, reconned not because I want to be flattered like in this comment or um, let's say um, being evidence in fact this contrast 
um, which is fascinating. And, and I accept because, as you know, I don't complain to get a few views. Not even now I'm technically doing this. I'm just saying it's okay. I understand why it happens and we will see it better too. But there is a, probably a hidden meaning within the videos, right? Um, and it's hidden in the sense that sometimes, of course, I say things in, you know, pretty openly. You know, that I'm pretty straightforward just by character and so on. But there is a fil rouge that connects the entire production that I've been making so far. Of course, I changed uh, a bit in, in these years, um, but uh, not to, to the core, not to those, you know, principles that allowed me to, to, to get to this point, like in life too, not just talking about YouTube, that is really a sort of side thing in my per personal life. But in general, with my work, uh, with things I learned, etc. And of course, I'm I'm excited to talk about it. Um, and in part, I get the opportunity of doing this. But at the same time, I do follow a discipline too that, in fact, is to be um, uh, received at some point with a with a process that is not just immediate, right? It's obvious that most YouTube videos are that flashy and um, let's say to the point even in a simplistic and superficial way and so they get views etc but in fact they stop there right they they don't bring with them that further point that um i don't see even even not even in actually open political debates um both from the left and the right um and you know where i stand but it's it it's it's likely not as you think uh, in in say in the way you think or for the reasons that you think or for say the, the background that you think there is more and the answer is in the videos uh, which are not again whatever say the single one or two or three not even ten or one hundred it, it, it's about the wall and it's a bit difficult objectively and this is surely a limit to understand my content without that specific background so I, I deem it necessary to just in part to answer the question, but to, to introduce also the answer, because this is the thing that I've been saying for a while, and um, I also get that things are taking a bit of a long time, so I'm awaiting, right? This is a very gradual path that requires that discipline and that um, patience, that constance, that... Uh, doesn't come with, uh, you know, uh, hastiness and or anxiety. The one we are habituated to get immediately everything immediately soon and fast and cheaply and whatever. That's not a civilizational principle. That's actually a a pretty sad uh, thing. Um, in any case, uh, it, it's all on me. I'm in charge here, which means that I'm also responsible for everything that follows. And I think that my um, here, pathetically less than nine subscribers, as, as the question says, <laughs> status is is good, and I actually thank all of you, and I welcome, by the way, all the new subscribers because I think that, uh, of course, it, as we'll explain now, it's it's a matter about it's a matter of you, uh, of us, if, um, telling the truth. Um, so here it says you have published eighteen hundred video lectures, generally ranging from forty five minutes to two hours. True. And you do it every day. True. On topics ranging from most ancient history to late medieval times, making excursions in Napoleonic warfare, yes, also beyond for that matter, something about the U-boats, the Ardennes battle, also early modern warfare. Um, I'm a medievalist, so obviously I stick to my, uh, my millennium at least. But the plan is to expand especially more into modern and contemporary warfare because I, I do have the means to do it so uh, I'm not uh, afraid but uh, this is part of the preparation uh, I was talking to you about before um, now how is this possible the question goes uh, with three question marks I would love to hear from you you how this fantastic feat can be accomplished can be accomplished in cap locks um, well, there, I think I talked about this. I mean, I, 
I explain at some point how I make the videos. Of course, things change over time. There's been a lot of uh, refinement that surely comes with just by exercise. That is that means really a lot. As far as even my speaking capabilities, believe it or not, I used to speak much worse than I than I do. Uh, <laughs> still, um, but the historical side of the story is actually simple. Like my feeling is that. It's so easy to talk history, um, and so that this 1800 videos are so few, because I felt like, um, like I haven't talked about like the the overwhelming most of what I wanted to discuss, right? To cover even just in topics in in times and space, um, even about the times and places like medieval history. I don't feel I have even began to actually thicken the net. Um, believe it or not, because that's at least how, how uh, much my mind uh, is is aware uh, of um, as far as as the knowledge that I browsed at least, so that I don't obviously know all of it. Uh, uh, but I, I try to keep fit, as we will see now, also with memory, etc., because that is key to it. So it says, "Are you an entire army of historians hiding behind a single voice?" Obviously not, unless you, of course, refer to my library of 14,000 history books. So that's really a good army of, of historians, um, if not actually more, because if you look at the respective bibliographies, the thing becomes like a substantial part of the world population, at least scattered across time. Uh, in any case, um, uh, of course, I... You know, nobody's born toad, as we say here. So, the everything comes through. I'm just a medium, right? Of you know, divine truth, of course. <laughs> what else? And it doesn't at all seem like that, given the uh, given the way you freely reason about each topic, of course. Uh, and I think this is the point of Schwerpunkt that I, of course, gather a substantial amount of information from lots of different sources and studies and they say sources in a generic sense here um, but the point is commenting on them is criticizing them like there are some there's some information sometimes I, I, I need because um, I believe it's the opposite of what I believe in um, but still the way it's phrased helps me remembering why I mean some topics and so that I can simply reformulate the entire concepts uh, like in function of what, what I actually believe and explaining why and also posing uh, say pointing out that there are people who believe otherwise and I explain why they, they don't um, just recently made a video about you know the say how how relevant it is or how important valuable indeed um, it is on YouTube to uh, make sources explicit or not Right, and uh, as you know, I try to maintain a sort of mystery regarding this because, first of all, I, I was habituated with um, a historical teaching that, of course, was, was very transparent. Like, if you want to know where a certain information is taken from, say, I didn't have to just trust people on their words, right? And and obviously, I draw my information from what I what I have all the interests of being reliable sources that I have definitely the competence to, to criticize, to frame, like I may not be an expert about a certain thing, but I, I can at least recognize whether say I can say certain things in, in 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 full conscience, because actually I disagree with most historical you know, sources, I'd say most historical studies, I have an enormous respect for, for, for sources um, and I think that most studies are Say are correct in in a, I, I'm very satisfied in general with the the average level at least of the type of uh, education that I received and where etc. But I'm also aware of the fact that not all over the world it is like that. Not even uh, next to me necessarily. And it's always about what people think and why they write and why they study history and they research. That's a completely different thing. But I believe that part of Schwerpunkt's appeal lays in, in the fact that I elaborate on concepts rather than just telling you, oh, look, you know, this day this thing happened, 
right? And uh, this was because of this and that, but I don't explain you why, right? Actually, that would be pretty bad. Um, instead, I try to make a point that especially tries to give a dimension um, to to politics, war, history. Uh, that comes, j as always, through a diachronic and comparative exercise, which naturally talking about so many different things at once helps dramatically to develop. And it is something that is not done anymore, unfortunately, anywhere, not even in, in the academia, um, which is pretty bad. I think it's one of the uh, one of the reasons why things are going downhill and at, at so many levels everywhere. Um, and that there is no nothing out there uh, to save us. There is no alternative place where people actually get hit. I mean, the place was, is where I said in the broader West, like, are objectively the ones where you have the best stuff. So if that's the best stuff, you can imagine the rest. Um, and, uh, and it's useless now to comment on this, but uh, you understand what I mean. And um, I... As I said in the aforementioned video, I think it's a matter of authority, right? Uh, authority, of course, is should be um, strengthened by, provided by method in, in the first place. But this is exactly the point, that even though there is a scientific method used, every person uses it still in, in a different way. Um, and that's simply because we are human. So um, this means from one side that we are all wrong a little bit, but that in practice what really makes the value of a historian is how much he knows and how much he's able to criticize within this. It's not just somebody who you know, spends his life just on that given topic and doesn't look at, at the rest. You can't be expert about everything. And so... Um, this this thing, of course, of the entire army of historians is is relative because I definitely am not an expert on virtually everything that I discuss. I mean, I can be an expert in medieval history because I have a doctorate in medieval history, but this doesn't mean that I don't know. I just think uh, or leave as or research as if I think, oh my god, I'm such an expert. I know the Middle Ages. I know everything about that. Um, I know very few. Telling the truth. Um, for, you know, having a, you know, really a phenomenal, what, what I think, um, in my view, would be a phenomenal knowledge of the Middle Ages. And there were, there were scholars, historians in the past, who really had it. And, and they were definitely of another kind. And so that put in perspective shows you the uh, generational, degeneration effect as, of, of, say, of, of historical quality, um, not in the method. The method is, has sharpened itself. There are much better ways to do things because, first of all, we are more, and so there is a general balance in that, and given that this certain, say, basic core procedures are respected, uh, you can, of course, have a lot and of good quality, but when it comes to get things at a bit of more an, an advanced level and this is particularly important, that's where authority comes into play. Making yourself understood about the topic, um, things are really difficult, right? I talk sometimes at conferences um, with some of the greatest experts in a given field, that would be my own, and I realized that at some point they didn't understand what I was saying because they hadn't been the places I've been. Um, I mean it in, in historically, the the let's say you, you can easily scorn someone just because you say something that maybe in, in their minds is is understood in a different way but be just a cognitive deficit of some sort and so not establishing certain relations or expressing certain judgments that are not exactly correct also in evaluating a, a certain person's uh, qualification. For that matter, I, I strongly believe that the only way to have a serious historical knowledge is to follow the say the, the scientific path I mean in a in a scholarly way um, even though there are many intelligent people that grow uh, to be incredibly competent in many fields without having studied at that uh, uh, at university specifically etc still there is a specific method that you must be trained 
very heavily in and this is it's not impossible to get it from somewhere else but generally speaking being um, say going through the formal path is, is definitely the best and, and there, there are it's not really true that uh, say there, there is this distrust especially in the conservative world uh, to which I uh, say I belong even though I I don't care about the thing just per se but because I, I consider myself at least uh, even beyond a certain dimension for reasons that I can't digress on but let, let's be it um, the uh, let's say there, there is a distrust towards education like this is this is a you know bef before the elite w was identified by very heavy education and especially the so-called humanities right now the fact that somebody hijacked that after World War the second and that at least in some countries in some uh, in some institutions, etc., uh, for you know, Marxistic purposes, uh, it's not really um, uh, identificative of what, of, say, of many good scholars that exist. Like it, as a continental European, we have very good academia, and, and part of that is is also ideological in that way. But um, it doesn't represent nearly not even the, the half of it anymore and it's actually going better the, the the threat comes from this general moral laxity the fact that students study ever less than their 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 teachers etc and this happens for other reasons that go beyond um let's say just a, a mere technocratic resolution what what i what i do on schwerpunkt is in a sense again leading by example uh, and um, trying to build that authority that is capable essentially of melting any resistance along the path. Uh, I think that's very important, right? And it, it's obviously based on a, on a matter of, of standards, which are the enemies of today's average person. In an ideological sense, at least where I was brought up and, you know, in my, my milieu, my family, whatever, the sense of being becoming better then what you are is like the, the purpose, say, the, at least the, the functional um, activity in life, right? <laughs> That's basically what you have to do in order to accomplish certain goals, but obviously it all aims to, to an improvement, to actually increase in power and increase in, in life, in force, in love, etc. Um, and so it, it's a driving force that brings you very, hopefully very far from where you were before. Um, uh, today, uh, Every day, I, I meet with people that are utterly paranoid in terms of any kind of standard. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to be. They want to. They don't want to rationalize. They don't want to learn. They don't want to make efforts. Um, and even when they do, like it, it, to them, it seems like such a big deal because they literally do not have a term of comparison to determine w what is actually an effort in many other fields, in to many other scales. Um, and so, for example, a comment like this, I, I'm not accusing the author of sinning in this regard, but say, uh, I can tell you that I, I don't feel like this is such an accomplishment uh, compared to what I do in, in other, uh, say, fields in my life um, that say, oh my God, can it even be done? Yes, it can be done. It's actually pretty easy, right? Uh, arguably, I, I, was, I was lucky enough uh, I know that many people can't do this, or at least they, they always can, but everybody can, but uh, maybe in a conventional, in, in the whiny conventional way, of course, uh, there are sometimes in big um, issues to solve before uh, dedicating yourself to, to such an activity. But yes, not only can be done, but everybody can do the same, right? just takes to want that and doing it. Uh, which naturally come at a cost to the price, and you must balance that in your life. Uh, there is no, but that's life, right? I can't teach you how to handle things. That the most beautiful thing about it is that, you know, you learn uh, only when you do that, right? So it's a matter of experience in many ways. So definitely, I'm not an entire army of historians, but I, I would like to use this this metaphor to say that. Actually, nine ta almost 9,000 subscribers could be that army of historians in the sense of researchers, of people who care about uh, history, about maybe the, the way I, 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 I discuss it, 
I want to say teach it because I never felt like I'm teaching history here. Um, I do something that are different from what I do as a historian, which is definitely much more complicated and, and demanding than this. Uh, at some point, I will publish my say my work uh, through my videos, um, but it, it it could never be rendered because I can't stop at every note, for example, in the kilometric one that that I write in reference to this, that, sources, whatever, that's why if we write papers and we don't make uh, YouTube videos that have another function, which can be a uh, disclosure, definitely, but in my case, I think it, it's a sort of provocation, a sort of, say, test to see how people react and what you can do with that and learning from it so that you can, you can definitely do something more... Um, Say more instrumentally successful with and and of course there is nothing in a in a shady behind the curtain way. I mean, I I normally say what I want and why and what is that um, this is all about. But as I said, it cannot be fully understood unless you follow the videos very carefully and you follow everything I say. I can tell you because it did happen to me too. Um, to make some video responses uh, where I never had an actual interaction with our YouTubers, but um, sometimes I watch videos say, oh my god, I, I want to re reply, I want to point out certain things, and I realize that it, it's very easy, very uh, very instinctive to just, say, look down uh, to certain ideas, content, especially the first time you hear them. And that when you have actually to criticize them and by quoting them, by understanding what this person actually say, things, of course, sound more rational and precise than what you understood at the beginning. And that's actually the moment in which you can strike even deeper because you understand you, you are at simply another level right, of understanding. And I realized that this is not how normally people watch YouTube channels. So given that my videos are very long and that often I say things that are a bit disconcerting and or, um, you know, uh, I can say extremistic, but they're strong, right? And they are, you know, very uh, concrete in that regard and but also complex and intertwined with the wall that it's very difficult to get my videos right. This is the impression I get from the comments that... The, are very appreciative. Um, the overwhelming majority of the time, I barely ever get any criticism, and when I get, the problem is the same. The person hasn't really understood what I what I'm talking about and what I'm saying and the things that I actually uh, refer to or how. Uh, sometimes I say, you know, this is A, and the person understands B and starts, you know going down that path, right? And I don't think it's useful. I think it's actually sort of mental dysfunction and I don't encourage that because I believe it's um, it, it's harmful. And it's harmful also for the people who are supposed to, to read that too. So that's why there is also a substantial amount of censorship. Uh, which I... However, I've seen, I've, I've been answering also critical questions that again I, I say critic, negatively critical questions that I hardly ever get uh, and uh, I pointed out so I, I point out my, my mistakes when I say something is wrong or whatever I said oh well I don't know a couple of years ago I, I dealt with this topic and I said this but um, you know there is this other aspect of things have to be seen perspective it's rare that I get ever say blatantly wrong you can get wrong about one one name or one date uh, which also actually never happens. Ne never say never, but um, really I care about that. If if I realize I've made that mistake, I, I, I will edit, I will change that before I, I upload because I don't want it to be wrong, right? But uh, obviously most of what I say is a, a criticism of, of some broader historical issue. And so that requires a perspective that al unless you have acquire yourself um, whenever it's presented to you it's, it's going to sound suspicious this is the normal psychological attitude whenever you're presented with something new that you can't put your fingers on because 
uh, you really have never heard of it before. It can be even very simple concepts. For example, uh, like at least there's, there are uh, pretty insightful viewers who say, I enjoy more the general history videos than, say, the, the most uh, specific ones on, I don't know, certain tactics or units, whatever. Good, okay, but uh, at the same time, uh, I think that's the challenge, right? If you, I, I generally speaking, talk generally, right? I don't think even sitting here making all these videos that everything is so much, you know, specifically in depth um, to the point I don't touch on other stuff, right? It, it does partly go like that, but I always try to make an introduction to, to explain certain basics. I often make these videos that are a bit more, um, you know, uh, say, in fact, critical, theoretical, conceptual, whatever you want to uh, you wanna call them like. Right, and so that's the reason, like, yes, I definitely, the, you, our brain is, is designed to make synthesis. The more you learn, and uh, the easier it is, actually, as a point out here, to just uh, talk freely about every topic in that, uh, in that perspective. And it says, do you have photo photographic memory and look through several books and papers every day immediately memorizing everything forever in the catch of an eye, click, click, click. Uh, then close your eyes for a few hours, putting it all together with your already astronomic memory magazine and apply pretty sharp analytics to it in order to, the impro uh, to then improvise these daily lectures about the very short introductions. Well, this is all correct except um, the, uh, you know, memorization of all the data that I talk about. Obviously, I have sketches I prepare. Uh, sometimes you should see them. They're very patchy, right? I, I pick a lot of different stuff uh, from a lot of different sources. I connect them, I, I underline them, I circle them. But say, even if I read, I don't know, it can be a, a the, the paragraph of a manual that can be really uh, like a, a few tens of, of of lines, and I can't talk for that for two hours if if I want, right? So just having it under my eyes, of course, um, makes all easier, and I care, um, especially to start all uh, these speeches with very concrete um, information, very very firm data with very specific points of reference, and just elaborating. From that, so most of what I do is is that form of elaboration. What you see in the videos, and yes, they they there is no script, technically. I have sketches, but I don't read off, like of a of a text that I prepared. If I ever do so, I did something recent. It was a very brief, like uh, I will use it probably in the future too, which is called Pills of Schwerpunkt. That is, there I read because I used to write little um, intros years ago for uh, for certain battles, etc. So there I have my own writing. Um, I, I translate it and I can simply read off of that. I plan to to read partly all my thesis um, at some point, or at least parts of them. Uh, I already did insert some information like that, but again, yeah, that's basically the only thing that I actually read um, directly. Uh, the rest is just references. I go by order. I need some important volume of of awards, of course, but um, the connections come that easy, and it that that's very easy telling the truth. As you, as you can understand, I, I'm also pretty rambly at times. You see that I try to buy time with certain expressions uh, to pass to the next inform when I pass to the next information. Often saying, "Ah, oh, whatever." I, I have, still have to work on that. A lot, but I, I do understand that it does give the say it's not that it doesn't it does give the impression, but it literally produces videos that can last for hours with me just simply speaking, right? I skipped all that psychological block that is to say, oh my god, now I have to be speaking for I don't know one hour, two hours in a row. I simply do it. Doesn't feel a big deal, also because you need it. Say I need, given that I read a lot every day. You'd be surprised, not many books, 
right? I rarely read entire books, at least that's what I do when I have free time, I want to read uh, one just for pleasure, which is never really fully pleasure because it is still historically related, even literature, whatever, I think, oh my god, and I, I try to, to, to naturally use it for Schwerpunkt in a way, so making some book review or whatever. Um, that's when I read entire books. Of course, in the past, I did read lots of books, um, but never as many as I would have liked, uh, and uh, never as many as, you know, I think most avid readers. Again, it's not much about um, reading a lot, but really what you read for, what you do with that, what you learn, what you study, what you actually make the effort of. Because, again, the... Uh, of course, I have a background of again, all the, the university path and uh, and all what I did in parallel because I never studied military stuff at university. Like, the only military stuff I did at university was my were my thesis. Um, but all you hear about warfare is something I learned on my own. So that gives you also a measure of what I was doing in parallel to my curriculum. And uh, that's mostly what I tr treat here because... That's just what I like and what I happen to specialize in, which uh, is very cool because <laughs> it's not done that much. And so I'm also pretty pretty sharp and brutal and cold. And I was defined as geometric um, and some other, you know, uh, terrible stuff like <laughs> whenever I was evaluated in this paper because th there is really a lot of... Um, People think that I have cold blood for some reason, because especially when I'm out there, I, I don't betray any emotion. But I'm actually, I think, a, a sensitive person. Um, just, I do have this capacity, apparently, of just sticking to the role. And uh, apparently, I, I attract anxious people, because I, I reassure them, apparently. Um, and I think it's a model. Also, when, like, with your persona, when you go out there, talk in front of an audience, I... It's always been easy for me um, because I care about what I've, what I've learned and that I want to explain and that has to do with this whole weird world in which I live um, in my mind. Uh, and it's, um, it's funny when I say that, <laughs> you know, I would have not done it uh, otherwise. But no, I definitely don't remember everything, right? Actually, most of the things I make for the videos, I say I eat get in a in that sense of quantity of measure of saying oh, now i know say that people that army that that historical deal what, what it really was but of course i forget most of what i what i say here which is also a, a fact uh productive to to record and to upload here for for others and for myself well i never really listen to my videos actually i think i've never done it um or Maybe the last time I did it was like four years ago. And um, I don't care. Also because if I did so, I said, oh my god, I should remake this video, whatever. Um, I just learned to do it. And after 1,800 videos, I think that's normal. <laughs> and uh, just imagine if that hadn't been the case, it would be a torture. But uh, it's uh, it really comes like that. The, the very short introduction things are, first of all, serious. Like... They're obviously a provo uh, provocation of some sort, but I actually do believe that th this are very short introductions because, say, you talk about... I normally use that um, um, uh, subtitle as, like, for the, the historical regional series. I talk about, say, a, a region in Europe, a province in Europe, it, for one hour and a half. It's obvious a very short introduction. What do you think the history of those countries is? Like, you could talk forever, like, about the history of, of those places. So it's the least I can write, because I don't want someone uh, coming on my channel and say, uh, ah, I hear a display of this place for the first time, and I know that there aren't videos about like this on YouTube. And thinking that that's all you, you need to know about it. I, I always feel uh, sort of remorse um, uh, to to give you this stuff and say, oh, well, that's basically it. That's my take, just because I can't speak all the day long. 
and I can't even upload the video on YouTube at, at that point. Um, and saying, you know, well, that's it. Like, if I add a very short introduction, first of all, that means that I'm going to talk, hopefully, many other times about that given topic, uh, which is definitely what I I also do, right? It, it's very easy, like, to, to have a different country, different uh, context to be, you know, treated in tens of videos, right? And that's the plan right, in part, uh, to, to really have so much stuff that intertwines each other that you can't pass from one video to another. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't allow you really to do that because it's not just a single Schwerpunkt page that you can... That there is this function that says uh, among the uh, suggested uh, videos, the, the, the column on the right when you watch YouTube videos says, watch only Schwerpunkt results. And that that's a very interesting way to binge... Uh, into like the uh, you you will only have what I uploaded, but not necessarily in the way I would like those videos to appear because normally they they just show you the the videos that get more views, and so maybe there are videos I made four years ago with a with a very poor English, um, and and just in a way that I wouldn't make that those videos now. But that's how sadly, right? It it goes right there are, that these. 1800 videos are hardly ever known because you don't see them right and it's normal again for we'll see it now for the average user to arrive here seeing that I deal with very specific topics and say oh my God, but this is just about things that may not be interesting there are 1800 videos that deal with really a lot and and not just at that level of um, say of of, uh, of narrowness let's say at least for the topic the single topic that can be a universe on its own evidently but you may not be interested in it specifically um, so it's very complicated in fact I'm not sure YouTube uh, helps uh, more than much in this uh, I'm of course grateful for the opportunity but it's a nightmare for me because I cont I like to control everything I'm not a particularly anxious person, but I, in the sense, I like to do things only my way, right? So just to depend uh, on this by uh, another system, frankly, is uh, is just a, a a bold choice from my side, but also one that you must take uh, at some point uh, if you want to get anywhere and being heard, being known. Because if I had to rely just on my papers, for example, who would know me? Right. Um, surely more people know me through Schwerpunkt than through my work, which is somehow weird, because yes, in, in a sense they do overlap, and I and I couldn't um, make this videos if I hadn't if I didn't write history. But I can assure you that very few people read military history in general, and uh, there is no much of a future there. Uh, at least apparently for now. So, so Schwerpunkt feels like a necessary integration under that point of view. Um, so that's mostly how I do it. So it's, you have created material here for 100 books. Well, let's not exaggerate. I mean, if I write books, it normally takes years. Um, and I wouldn't compare the two things. Um, 100 booklets, maybe 100 Allsprays or... <laughs> You know, something like that. Um, and I do agree that there is more to it. Um, let's say maybe those, yeah, 100 books, for, but for all these considerations that can space from politics to morals to, to history, culture, etc. So, yeah, usually people liked uh, that. Uh, in the last couple of years, a focused... Uh, like crazy just on history content and that's where I, I realized that I am a bit too um, introverted than before or at least before I was saying okay well today I want to talk about this because I don't know I don't I don't feel like I want to do this history video today so I will just um, have fun just talking so freely and broad but then uh, I also realized that it was more like me talking uh, about s certain generalities that may be interesting to hear, but 
that must pass first through the aforementioned discipline. So I think that history offers you much better insight. It turns out, again, people are more interested in what you think for some reason. And again, I do understand it too, but without the other videos, it, it's impossible to, to get what I say anyway. So um, I try to keep things more, a bit more balanced now, or at least un unbalanced in favor of history, but still thinking a lot. And so, for example, the, the question answer series is, is, quite, is quite useful in this regard. The important is to find the right question um because i can't uh just answer things like uh you know sometimes in the videos say if you want tell me what you would like to hear normally but keep it general like make me understand say more roman history or more medieval history or more renaissance history or all this kind of stuff and say can you talk about that you know military unit in the seven years war but just from this month or not <laughs> you know maybe not at that level of 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 say especially but let's say i'm not here simply to like like an answering machine uh it, i i try to discuss topics that have a broader relevance and that and i don't see where i i understand sometimes i do things in that to that level of, of of detail but i i also think you need one needs first of all context again as i was saying before like with historians we can have hyper specialization but if you don't have a broader view you don't know what to do with what you find out or what you want to know and 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 people seem to be focusing in this like sort of um uh, guinea pig uh, uh little houses where they want to be alienated from the rest of the world because they don't want to do to, to face the the harsh truth of, of life um and and of history but uh it's um uh, let's say i don't know what we're where that thing is is bringing also because if you really care about those topics uh you can easily buy a book today right even if you spend, spend i don't know a couple of bucks like, like today you, you can't find everything on the internet so why do you want me to to just to speed up the i don't i should work i should work as a search engine just for what i've already put out there you know it which is not a very important thing like just keep in mind especially for more generic topics or sometimes at this point also a specific one considering the number of those i covered like there is a search button on schwerpunkt like on any other channel so you can search whether i already answered like uh, i'm making this question sorry if you already answered that uh, but i couldn't find it well just search it right i try to keep the title simple to add also different kind of hooks so that you can get hopefully attracted by that but that that's what i was talking about before right you know if you got to the point that people don't even search anymore well you know what i'm making history for uh it, it sounds dramatic believe me um to to see the world falling apart around you um even though i i maintain that kind of calm that people observe at least from the outside um so you have created okay but you're uh you're satisfied with having 800 uh, 8800 subscribers not even registering on Google's radar and as a relevant content provider in your genre. Well, speaking of satisfaction, um, well, I don't know, honestly. I think that everything that happens to a person is somehow deserved. Um, so I can't evaluate. To me, 8800 is, is it's just, just an amazing number to think like. Like, because here is it just shows as a number sometimes i forget there are people behind it but if i want to dwell on it i definitely think 8800 people who are they right admittedly not all of you watch this I mean this is completely normal on youtube uh just a minimum to a small part of the subscribers actually watches your content etc um but it's still amazing that 8,800 people made the statement, essentially. I, I'm interested in what this channel says. 
in a way or another. I don't want. I want to bookmark it. I want to keep an eye on it. Um, and that is, uh, I think, interesting. And it, it it is partly satisfying. It, of course, I'm not satisfied if I think I could have grown definitely more. And so, of course, I try to find ways to do so. As far as Google Raider, uh, well, uh, yeah, I think I do appear somewhere. If you, if you even on YouTube, um, if you write Schwerpunkt, Schwerpunkt Byzantine, Schwerpunkt Franks, something like that, um, then that's stopped because of the aforementioned reason, because it seems that um, YouTube is killing the YouTube search as far as other videos are concerned, but these are coming back in the, uh, given the critical mass of views they start getting um, to be watched by other, by people who didn't search for it, so uh, it's, you know, just taking a different path. And as was saying before, if Google doesn't uh, detect me. Uh, I, f- I don't know about that. I don't. I have. I think I haven't searched for it. But uh, yeah, it's likely. I don't think that. I figure. Um, so far. But it, it, it's always about the how many people I attract. Right. So this poses the problem also within with the question itself. Um, so you say I'm extremely grateful for what you're doing here for free for those of us who have discovered you i'm just frustrated that i do not have even a fraction of the time available to even hear most of what you produce as you produce it which actually could be a very good reason why uh, people don't follow me Mm, among the others at least because it's obvious that people could simply watch the other stuff i did uh, and I know that on, on YouTube, like, even watching older videos seems like not a thing anymore. Because they say, but it's old, right? And unless it's a very famous video or something uh, for somebody, they, they again, it's like a big channel, they, they don't watch it. And especially this kind of historical stuff, because it always feels, oh my god, maybe it's three year, after three years, there's surely something better that was made, right? And YouTube's algorithm just uh, show me that the best stuff. Well, that's the point. Um, a bit, it, it's a bit of a problem, right? That even, but the length of the videos, uh, you know, itself, not just the quantity, but the length. Who does have the time to listen to me? Um, let's say for, but even just a single time can be once a week um, for two hours straight. I know people that work listening to me. I don't know, hope they, they do very m- mechanical jobs, but they don't distract people. Some some listen to me while they drive. Um, that That's very nice, because this channel is a sort of podcast, let's be honest. Um, and it can be consumed that way. I often do so. I also, when, when I do something very, like, even, for example, fishing the pictures for Schwerpunkt, that's a very mechanical job. Um, and I often listen to political commentaries during that or you know uh detective uh, interviews those kind of stuff um and i understand that somebody does access probably like a a greater amount than i think my content this way because it's just me speaking there is this sort of personal connection that i think questions like this highlight that is to say like, here we're not focused just on history, but focus also on who the hell are you, right? Uh, because, you know, I haven't really ever told you who I am, what I look like, uh, the data, people ask me where I come from, and this kind of stuff. So it's interesting, at least, um, to maintain a bit of mystery and other point. I, I know that if I had made videos of myself, likely, just because people tend to focus more on that kind of human... Um, even assuming I'm human, by the way, uh, <laughs> um, contact like uh, visually, right, more, more, more readily. So there are many reasons actually why my videos, among the other things, are not watched. Or people find it difficult to just to follow what I say sometimes to to get at the end of the video, whatever. So I um, at this point, I think the the stats, especially the, the watch length is a bit messed up. It's never been representative of the wall because it's evident that there are people that watch the entire videos, even every day, 
I get multiple say comments that tell me, look, I, I watched this video now and I think this and that. So I understand they did to do that. I just don't know, like probably there is a, a, a nucleus that sticks around. Um, people follow me from years. I know that from sure. Um, I just got into, to know some of them at least uh, uh, on, on the internet, like beyond uh, Schwerpunkt, say there are there's someone who sent me gifts, for example, the coin series. There are other people I uh, I worked with uh, even in uh, always online. So there are those kind of connections, but they're rare. I also try to keep them so because, frankly, I don't have other time uh, for things I want to do. So sometimes uh, I don't answer to everything, by the way. You can always send me messages that are very welcome, like the 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 likelihood that you're gonna get answered. Of course, if you write me, especially at this time, is still relatively high, um, and that I'm going to make a video um, out of it too. Right? I have some. Sometimes I'm undecided whether to make videos about certain because some people come to me making some revelations, like I don't know, I come from this country background you told about this country I feel like this about my country about the politics whatever and that those are very interesting as a matter of fact because aside from telling me a lot about uh, the the say that that circumstance also say I take it as an accomplishment when when they reinforce actually the opinion that I have also without knowing directly certain things well in the so there is really a lot to uncover there, and I don't know whether Schwerpunkt will ever become something like that, but it's a promising thing, because mm, actually I care very much about Europe um, in many ways, and I I have just many ideas that I don't address, or at least I, I do that through history, and that's again why that's my videos, uh, my history videos are more important than these ones. But there are certain concepts that are also that, admittedly, I don't deal with because they're very, very harsh, right? I think that I'm stern but fair in many ways. Um, and if I were to say certain things out loud, maybe I would get more views, but I would also probably not be so delicate. At least I, I would have more intelligent ways to, to address certain things and I need time to think them. To think how to, 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 to articulate the issues where, say, having more evidence. That's why questions are always welcome, because those help me building the script for, for that stuff. Um, so that's the point. Very often my content is so long, and this apparently is a very common issue on YouTube. Like, people want to think, again, immediately fast, right? That's not how you learn anything, telling the truth. Let me tell you, like, I don't know how people think that even learning history works. I understand that YouTube is not university, but the question is, you know, how do you think to learn history um, uh, on YouTube if you can't, you don't even have the, the attention span of not even a, you know, a student of the first year of university, but even a, you know, a high school student. That That's very difficult for me to understand. Uh you may keep, you may think that there is uh, an incredibly well balanced description that can last 15 minutes about all the 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 greatest systems of the universe so that you can say oh yeah i get it now i will spend it um well just know that that's not going to do anything for you right again that that's the thing that perhaps keeps people out if you do not spit blood you do not go anywhere in life it's, it's usual uh, it's useless to flat uh, to flatter yourself about that that's why i don't care even if i have a relatively few subscribers uh, compared to two to other channels made much less than me because i know that this content is to be received like that and that i have to find ways to point that out um, that are very challenging. They are more challenging than the average because the the ambition is greater. The the point, the the result, the, the to 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 achieve is, is much much uh, greater. And I tend, especially to to spend all this time making the videos. I, as I think you have learned by now, 
framing the concept, um, not in an abstract way, meaning arbitrarily. Many, many, many channels do this. Many. It's not just about history. It's also about I don't know movies or whatever. They they immediately start from the principle that they have to fake their own interpretation of something to just get the damn views. Uh, and we get to the last point of the question because um, no, I, I don't care. Like I I'm I can't say to people something that is not true to get more views, right? That's dumb, right? That's essentially self-sabotaging yourself first of all because you're seeding stupidity and and that is going to damage the entire system in which you live right especially i've seen it like there are also channels more most of my same size or just something bigger that basically what they do they they pick a certain time uh, a certain year a certain theme uh, history, religion, whatever, and they start from standpoint. Now let's basically interpret this time in history with all the cliches that highlight the t- today's allegedly um, say that that have parallels in today's uh, say political situation. Let's pretend on the basis of whether I am right wing or left wing that this is how things went in the past, and with such a pompously ignorant, hypercritical voice that I I would never, like, follow them, even if, I don't know, if they were the last thing. I mean, the reason why I also talk so much in the videos is that I obviously draw inspiration from this misconception. I often debunk things, right? Not in the... uh, Say, in a... what, What I think is a dialectical way. Right, which doesn't mean just to speak a lot. It means to making a person, say, leading a person, in making certain steps along the way that can be tricky by showing them cleanly what this thing is. Right? People think that having a logic has to do with being right. A logic can be wrong. And you must point that out if that's the case. And I think that the average intellective level is incredibly low. It's going down, we know it, scientifically. Um, and these channels do not help anyone. right? So, of course, I propose to help people who want to use my content and I live out there, so they have to do the thing themselves. And, of course, I address these issues like I'm doing right now to, to be incredibly clear about th- my purpose. Um, but then they have to work in order to do it. If today's ethics is, I don't want to work, well, then you're done for. Like, you know, what? say, how miserable must be your life just to, to waste your time on YouTube learning nothing and doing nothing and just becoming the meme of, of, of the, the new generations. I mean, it's, 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 it's terrifying, right? Morally, personally, culturally, it's, a, it's an abortion. Like, how, how do you define this? It's, 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 it's disgusting, to say the least. Um, and, and I... Surely, I'm not going to flatter anyone into that, right? This this channel is about hierarchy, authority, discipline. Uh, it's about learning how to obey, which is an incredibly different thing. It's about um, realizing why civilization exists and how it came to be and why it works or doesn't work uh, in a in a universal language that has nothing to do with what you hear every day from either side, right? Um, but somehow uh, there is someone who uh, prefers, uh, of course, to be fooled than to be at least informed in a... At least I have titles saying that I can't do this definitely uh, way beyond YouTube. So, um, I think this is an opportunity. As I, I thank you. If you feel grateful for what I'm doing, for having access to this stuff, well, that, that's the case, and that's what I'm, why I'm here at the end of the day. And then you conclude by saying, but I do not understand why you don't monetize this fantastic work that you, with your impressive talent, have created. Um, now, I'm honestly very um, ignorant about the ways I could... Um, 
monetize further this content, meaning that first of all, there is always some loss um, in engagement, um, and this is not exactly what I'm looking for here. Um, I do have a, a meager income for what I do co comparatively to, say, a normal salary. This is true, but it's not irrelevant yet with 9,000 subscribers only. So my goal here is to expand uh, in a way that also from a, from a money, say, an, an economical point of view can be profitable to some degree. I, even if it were an average salary, I wouldn't mind because, yeah, you have seen it somehow right. I don't... Uh, I'm economically independent, so I'm definitely not doing this to eat, if you wondered. Of course, I uh, I don't despise money and power and, you know, this the, the all the benefits that derive from this. So that's the reason why I, I monetize the, the videos that are also somehow overloaded, I think, in ads. But that's fair, right? It's part of what you're talking about. Um, you say you should be at the subscription top in the YouTube history genre. This is another thing. It says at a million or so. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you know. Uh, again, I don't know whether it's. Uh, I mean, my, my content is definitely too developed for uh, for the mass. Like as as you know, my my ideology revolves uh, around the sense of quality of elite. So trying to gather masses by despising them is probably not the best uh, policy, but this is not even true. Um, it's about what I was telling before. It's about idleness uh, a bit. It's about the sense that you, if you want to be part of it, you have to make an effort, you have to work, you have to, to be there. Um, and of course, if you don't want to do that, the redemptional value um, and say transcendental and transfiguring purpose of this channel um, cannot be afforded by uh, by by anyone, right? That reasons like that. So um, this is the greatest challenge so far. Uh, if it's a matter of again showing people that I exist um, and so noticing me and so saying, oh my god, but this guy does the thing that I want, it, it's, it, it's another thing, and I'm, I also must work for it, um, so, um, so it says, having sponsors queuing, uh, queuing uh, to have their brands associated with you, well, I don't see it yet, of course, uh, they would, um, they already do in a sense with the ads, it's automatic, but I don't, no, I'm not going to sell stuff while talking during the video, Oh my god, this is my sponsor here, blah, blah, blah. No, I, I don't like... I mean, if people want to do it, do them. For me, it was already a, a huge deal to monetize when I arrived to 4,000, even though I could do it at 1,000, because I said, let's make this channel grow in the first place. Then it was a bit more difficult than expected. I have to re-upload all the videos because of those copyright issues that technically never even happened but that uh, that could so that I prevented them in the first place um, so now we are at least uh, a substantial number approaching 10,000 and as I was saying before in accelerating um, there is surely the the word the, part of the reason why I answer this question of course is informing this 8,800 subscribers how things really are Right, um, whether they have changed uh, if anything just by advancement, development, uh, but we stay on track uh, with our principles. Uh, maybe one day, I don't know, I will market uh, dishwashers in my videos, but I, I don't see myself. I mean, I hope um, the economy will, will hold because you know, stuff happens, but let's say, I, yeah, I, I don't, I, I'm economically independent, so I don't really, um, say, I'm, I'm not scared uh, of this now, right, what I truly care about now is getting myself known out there, and I'm not sure whether even in YouTube's history this is the, the, the right moment, obviously there were much better times, but at the same time, Considering what circulates on, on this platform, again, I think it's mostly a matter of visibility. Reason for which uh, the best thing you can do is definitely sharing all the time. I say it every 
uh, every video uh, finale, but the the, the sense is, uh, what are we talking about? Like, if you care about this channel, share. Like, this is true for me as well, and there are means to do that that I'm also implementing, but I, I don't think that um, I can say for that kind of growth, like, you, you must do that. You are the ones who even accidentally have done it. You should, some, many of you following me surely subscribed to my channel, did, didn't have the palest idea of what it was, maybe they were just attracted by one topic or another, but then got into it for the rest, I said. I don't know how many you are, but surely it, it's a thing. That's normally also how it happens with a channel, you start getting to it. I don't know about the demographics. Um, again, I don't know about YouTube's future. I can only say that all my videos are saved, so say uh, this stuff will always be on the internet, uh, likely. And um, just I don't know, say what can be done of it. Like if I can't find, because my my purpose, as as I was saying at the beginning, is starting from YouTube to to do something else. Like not not abandoning YouTube at all, but um, getting into pretty far away stuff. I don't know what culturally, politically, or whatever, because I think that, that, that I found certain things in history that make a lot of sense um, to help civilization, and it, it's an iron arm, it's always about the same cosmic uh, duel, but it's also about get, getting through the damn thing, right? So, and if we don't do that, uh, it, it's a bit difficult. I I had, of course, different ideas on YouTube five years ago. Uh, I could talk about them, how I changed uh, the content, how, why. Cause it's not obvious. I didn't, I didn't try to adapt to, say, my content to the rest. Um, say, I improved certain things. But I still think that this type of format, or at least of content specifically as historically speaking is is right right it does have a point and once you see it you can't unsee it this is also the beauty of of knowledge um so that's the reason why i don't do that it says perhaps you're economically independent and care not for such things are you running a major side business on a history topic that i do not know of well evidently not uh, you know, uh, as I was saying before, it's I know that there is some sensationalism in this um, comment, but no, it's it's all very uh, very easily made. Um, it it's doesn't require say it, it's a big deal um, in in terms, of course, of um, uh, yeah, the time, the energies, etc. That those are important, but I also benefited enormously from this. I mean, I learned so many things on my own that alone are much worthier than than anything I could earn economically from here. Um, some say, well, you want to put some videos uh, for paying, this stuff. I even thought about that, and especially the, the dumb ones that I made at the beginning that people, because of the algorithm, keep watching. And that would be, like, it normally get commented on by people who just have, I don't know, nationalistic issues about the migration here, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, those would be very cool to squeeze, you know, um, uh, monetarily. But uh, at the same time, uh, I think that it's not the, the right time yet. My point is, let this channel grow. Like, show me how far you can share Schwerpunkt. Uh, to see how much you actually care. Because from my side here, I I see that, yes, there are good purposes, but acting is another thing, and that's the greatest problem, perhaps, uh, of our world, of humanity in the first place. So I can get all the, the positive feed, etc., but uh, this thing must work uh, at a level that requires sharing like how do you share how do you increase well uh, of course it's always what I say at the end of the video like watch share do whatever you like uh, I don't know leave the playlist going you know if you have this desperate sense 
um, of it. But the, the most intelligent thing to do um, is really to go, especially on other channels, uh, and saying, like, look, there is this channel here, or, I don't know, Schwerpunk talked about this topic as well, or, you know, I don't search for partnership uh, or any of that. I could start making video reviews uh, of other channels of some kind or start at some point but I'm not sure it's the best the very best way um, necessarily at least it would be fun and I will do it but uh, I also don't have much time to watch other people's content so because that's somehow depressing and even making a video so blatantly open, uh, against them I, I, don't, I don't know how necessarily useful it can be I can try but the best thing is sharing it, not sharing it with, okay, your friend, well, yeah, it's good, like, if you have a friend, you say, oh my god, I, I watched this video, so, uh, say, this this channel, he talks about this and that, the art of war, whatever, in, in with some method, with some dialectic, with some, uh, with some EV, that's right, and all what, it's difficult to explain also how I do the things I do, indeed, in, in a methodological sense, but I will perhaps explain it another time. Um, but share it like on wherever, right? There, if you have an account, wherever, or create free, uh, create fake ones. Right? You know, it can be weird. And I realize that most people don't have time for this. But if you really care about the change, I mean, if you really want, like this entire comment was about, you know, how you have so few subscribers because people didn't share enough. Because. It, it does turn out that I even have a, a pretty high engagement rate for, uh, for the average. People tend to click on my content much more frequently than the average, YouTube's average. Admittedly, it doesn't take much if you have, say, a channel that has some serious pretense, but um, uh, let's say uh, whenever they they engage with my content, they tend to subscribe, uh, again, also to a high rate, a uh, relatively high rate. So the truth is that this content does not circulate. That you can't even blame the algorithm for it. It's plenty of stuff out there. Um, and so this thing must be mechanically pushed forward. Um, at a level that doesn't have, by the way, to be incensed. It has to be subtle. It has to be cheap. It has to be, uh, again, can be YouTube comments. It doesn't have to be creating threads uh, on Quora or Reddit, uh, which can help, by the way. Like if you if you say, like, yeah, on a thread that is read by thousands of people, look, well, there is this channel. Well, okay, that's great. But it has to be smart in a way. It has to be technical and believe me there are lots of uh, tools to do so and I am I'm also actually uh, starting to do similar stuff but um, like uh, I also don't like to propose myself like I, I, don't, I can't say on another go on another channel and say oh, look you know I made better video than yours or you know or I explained this to you know it's who does that? I mean, seriously, it's uh, it's frustrating. It uh, it's humiliating in a sense. Like it, 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 not even like it's it's actually arrogant, right? It's humiliating in the sense that you know, do I have to go that low to do so? But evidently not. I mean, if this channel has the potential to grow, let it do so. Also, with its own time, but just know that you can determine that time. But this is not. I can assure you that it's not about. YouTube's algorithm in a tyrannic way. This is a populistic superstition of people who think that there is some evil guy at the top that is ruling everybody and that they do not have any capacity to do so, which is actually a self-insulting concept if you in tradition, and it's ridiculous just in itself. Exactly for the, the same reason that is openly stated by the, the, the person. And so, um, just prove that this community is so strong that it can rise to the top just through sheer cooperation, hard work, dedication, patience, but actual actual commitment. Because otherwise, like I don't know, I, I make my share, like I make the videos, etc. and something is moving, I can tell you, I will talk more about the stats, whatever. But nothing is forever, meaning that again if you 
consider that I can do this, but I can't be just a sort of weird phenomenon that does so that people will come to interview because I made now a you know a video every day for I don't know how long. It has to be about the history of it, and it can't be otherwise, right? So I want to be uh, consistent for for the content. And the impression is that the content is not seen, and it's not understood. That's my clear impression, that there is a silent... I want to think majority of, of, of the followers, who, um, of, the, of the viewers at least, that watches without saying much, because it's... It, that's good too uh, but those, that's also the one I count on the most to make this thing happen because otherwise uh, you know it means there is nobody out there uh, create a net create something that makes it happen that's the only thing I can say uh, that seems the best option that seems the best rule say the best um, the best mechanism you can employ. Uh, for the rest, this is it, right? So it's a it's a good comment for say say oh, oh my god for for somebody reading it and saying uh, you know that's what you think about my channel. But there is an explanation to everything, and and there is for what I do as much as for what could be done that is not done. So again, don't always blame it on the algorithm or some strange thing to just let's be honest about this from from the stats, I see a very clear picture, and um that's how you can handle it uh essentially in any case uh for today, uh I stop it here. just hope that you enjoy it this video if you did please share it otherwise leave a like or subscribe to my channel if you're interested in my upcoming content as always i thank you heartily for listening to me i wish you a nice time and see you next time bye